might. Uh, no, you I knew I would, didn't you? I was expecting I'm it. sorry to be so predictable. What do you think? Do you think you, do your chances are good compared to that? Do you know, I mean, I think what Sophie's doing is really great, and I think that we're both really, really different. Mm. Um, and I don't think nowadays when people, when artists release records, they release records to try and get to number one, because the charts, if you look at it, it's so diverse, it's so different. And so I don't even think that's probably on either of our minds, right. to be honest with you. I think what she's doing, but I think she looks good. She's glowing because she's pregnant. And, um, yeah, I think everyone thinks we have this, this kind of thing going on. Right. And I, I respect her as an artist. Right. So is it more to do with album sales with you guys, do you think? I don't even know if it's that. I think it's just putting the music out there and having people hear it. You know, that's more important. There's so much pressure upon, is it going to be a number one? And it's never like that with the artists. I don't think there ever is that big battle. Right. Because um, last year she was photographed in a Peckham t-shirt. I thought that was funny, you know. I mean, like I said... Have, I you, got I... any, have you got any kind of stunts lined up? That you no, no, no. I mean, I think that I'm kind of proved with this record that, you know, I have a sense of humour. And, mm. yeah, I mean, I laughed at that. I thought it was, it was funny. So many people take themselves so seriously. Mm. And yeah. I think that with her videos, you, you do see her personality come across. And that's really important. It makes a change. I don't think there's enough videos like that. Right, OK. Uh, yeah. You're coming to you now. Uh, the, first, um, the first album did really well for Sophie. Second album, really not doing anywhere near so well. Mm. Do you think this single will help that out? Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of it. Right. But I do think she has got some good stuff. And I do think, you know, she's a great, she can sing and, you know, she can. Right. She's got a load of good stuff going on. But I don't really think this is that good, to say the truth. Right, OK. Because um, Victoria was just saying there that number ones don't really matter. Um, do you feel that sometimes, though, in terms of record companies, number ones do matter? Because, for instance, the Sugar Babes, first album didn't do as great as the mm. second album. The second album is rocking it at the moment, completely doing well all over the place. Mm. Number one's left, right and centre. Do you think that sometimes record companies are a bit too quick to cast yeah. people aside? I think sometimes they just... They're, yeah, they are. They're too fast for themselves. They just go straight into it <laughs> without thinking about things sometimes, so... Do you, do you think that was important for Sugar Babes as a band, to have that time to spread and grow? And kind Yeah, I think it is important to have time to, you know, understand yourselves and understand your music and what you really want to do. You know, right. There's no point releasing something and, you know, you're not liking it, so... Okay. I think for artists, that's the most important thing, mm. that you do well enough to be able to have another record, you know, yeah. that, that's, that's what you need. Mm. Mm. But do you think sometimes the record companies jump on people too quickly? If something is a, a commercial success straight away mm. and doesn't go to number one, which, let's face it, the charts are extremely commercial, do you think the record companies are too quick to jump on the back of it and go, OK, no, we're washing our hands I here? Think, I think some of them are, but then, you know, th some of them aren't. I mean, I think you've got some great artists releasing records. You know, for example, I mean, last week, I think Alicia Keys, what mm, a great fantastic. record. Yeah. Yeah. And it didn't even go in the top ten, and it was a great, great record. And I think the people that know about music respect that, and she's probably going to sell albums, so it's not an issue. Mm. Hundreds of thousands uh, of yeah. albums. I think the higher been. profile the artist, then the more pressure and the, yeah. and the easier to cast them aside. Do you feel that as part of Girls Definitely. Aloud? Do you feel that pressure? Because you kind of went from the TV show, you did phenomenally well straight yeah. away. Do you now feel that now, now the TV show's over and it's done and dusted? Do you um, feel that pressure on you? There's always that pressure because it's not just, it's not just what the record company's thinking, it's like other right. people as well are thinking, oh my God, are they going to get to number one? That's where the pressure comes from. But yeah. like they said, it's not about getting to number one, it's about selling albums and about putting good songs out there and hoping people enjoy what you're doing, basically. Mm. OK, well, thank you very much for all your comments this morning. Thank you, girls. It's been a very glamorous Hot Shots review today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our Hot Shots review.